Welcome to part two of our lesson on HVAC system types. In part one, we covered the four system types, which were the 100% outdoor air system, the mixed air single path system, a mixed air single path with zone reheat, and the variable air volume system. These two lessons are part of the larger series of lessons titled HVAC Quick Info Series. So let's get started. In this lesson, we will get an overview of the next four HVAC system types. Those are dual duct, multi-zone, fan coil, and unit ventilators. One way of classifying HVAC systems is by how many paths there are for the air as it leaves the supply fan or the blower. The mixed air single path we looked at in our first lesson had a single supply duct after the supply fan. The dual duct system illustrated here has two supply ducts coming after the supply fan. Another name for the dual duct system is a dual path system. Notice that the system has a heating coil in the path of one duct, the hot duct, and a cooling coil in the path of the other duct, the cold duct. The two supply ducts run throughout the building, one supplying cool air and the other warm air. In the ceiling of each room or zone is a mixing box containing dampers that uh, mixes a variety of proportions of the two air streams to create the desired temperature. Not shown are temperature sensors in each room or space which control the mixed air dampers for each of those spaces. The system type is expensive to install and costly to operate. Heating and cooling air and then mixing the two to obtain the desired temperature is not cost effective. This was a popular system type prior to about 1970 and was often used in school buildings. The multi-zone system is very similar to a dual duct system. The main difference is where the mixing takes place. In the multi-zone system, the two air streams are split inside the unit near the supply fan itself. Then the mixing for each space is done in the system itself and individual supply ducts for each space or zone are run to the respective rooms. Temperature sensors in the zone or space send a signal all the way back to the unit, perhaps on the roof of the building, where the mixing takes place. Like the dual duct system, this is an expensive system to install and not efficient to operate. This is no longer a popular system type. Fan coil units are placed against an inside or an outside wall in the room they are to serve. Fan coils are just that, a heating coil and a fan in a cabinet. With the fan on, air is pulled from near the floor, filtered and passed across the heating coil before being discharged into the space. A thermostat or sensor in the room controls the amount of hot water allowed to pass through the heating coil as well as the fan operation. Simple and convenient, fan coils are a popular choice. Unit ventilators are always installed against an outside wall. Similar to the fan coil unit, the unit ventilator consists of a fan and a coil. The unit is placed against the outside wall and the wall to the outside of the building is opened to allow the system to introduce some outside air into the space. A set of dampers mix a proportion of outdoor air with the return air. The actual mixture may be varied from no outdoor air at all to perhaps 10% outdoor air with 90% return air or even 50% of each to the extreme of 100% outdoor air. The thermostat or wall sensor controls both the flow of hot water through the coil and the mixture or blend of the air streams. There is a variety of control strategies that may be applied to control this type of system depending upon the usage of the room. The primary application for a unit ventilator is to provide lots of fresh air. A popular application would be an elementary school classroom where maybe 25 students and the teacher are all located in a small classroom and the students have just returned from recess. We would want plenty of ventilation in that room, wouldn't we? Well, there you have it. We have just finished part two of this two-lesson introduction to HVAC system types. While making these two uh, lessons, I realized that there are a few other heat transfer devices that are often installed in spaces that I should cover. I will cover those in yet another video. In case you're looking for it, I will title it HVAC System Types Part 3. This is Norm thanking you for your interest and attention. I'll see you next time.